I think it's a travesty that Yale is inviting someone whose human rights abuses are so well documented. And Yale is not only inviting him to speak on challenge, they are whitewashing his record by announcing his speech without mentioning any of those abuses. They're also relying on an informed audience to ask him tough questions. That's what they said to me, rather than asking him those tough questions in this, themselves. In his essence, they're giving him a platform to propagate government and official propaganda. I actually wanted to play a clip of, of an event I filmed in 2013 for The Real News when a protester tried to ask Kagame a tough question. Can someone please tell this heckler that they should you not disrupt you the world, the face of the Holocaust to the world? It's all, everyone knows it. Everyone knows it. It's not a secret. Can someone please... Look at the State Department report. Look at the State now, this is Department report. Look at the State 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 Department report. He has destroyed his country's free, space, uh, free press. He has systematically imprisoned uh, and abused journalists who have criticized him. A couple, uh, one of my students, uh, journalism students in Rwanda, was shot dead on the day he criticized Paul Kagame. Two young women were sent to prison for several years for insulting Kagame. Two others fled the country fearing for their lives and others have joined the presidential propaganda team or simply abandoned journalism because it's so dangerous for themselves and their families. So for Yale to rely on the audience to ask Kagami tough questions is ridiculous.